a Taurus. It is all about you guys. All right, Taurus, this is your weekly tarot and oracle, oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. That's me. My name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel where we grow and we try and we never give up and we are learning how to set healthy boundaries for ourselves. Not too high, not too low, not too shaky, not too easy, just the right size. So. It's our Goldilocks tale of how to learn, uh, how to establish good, uh, healthy boundaries with people. So, Taurus, this is your weekly reading. Now, the Oracle card reading happens here on uh, YouTube. In the link below, you'll see there's a link to an extended reading where there's a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. So, if you'd like to enjoy that, please do. If this is your first time to the channel, please help the channel grow. Click that link, subscribe down below, and click that bell to get all the notifications, including when I go live, which is every single morning, usually between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, though it's been a little bit later, but I do go live every day. I do a daily reading live, and then I take questions, questions, like simple questions, simple answer questions. I give free readings after I do my daily. So enjoy that and enjoy the dailies. Um, if you are on a platform that requires uh, commercial interruptions, then there will be one in a couple of seconds so that there doesn't have to be any more for throughout the message to interfere with the message. Let me say thank you so much because that is basically you making a donation to the channel by letting that video play. So I'm very grateful to you and I will see you in a second. Now, either you sat through an awkward pause because you didn't have to watch a video or you sat, uh, you didn't have to watch a commercial or you sat through a commercial. Either way, I'm glad you're still here. So let's get into your daily, um, I'm sorry, ugh, not your daily, your weekly energy. This is the weekly energy for Taurus, the zodiac sign of Taurus from October 29th, uh, October 29th through, no, I'm not taking those because I just feel like. Yeah, I'm not taking those. I feel like there's too many craziness. If they flipped out, yeah, that was a little bit of craziness. Um, Taurus, there's a lot on your mind. Clearly, there's a lot on your plate. You're trying to establish yourself as a new person. You're trying to establish yourself almost like a new a new life. And maybe you're getting your independence like you're becoming single again after being in a long-term relationship that really kind of like took a lot out of you and made you sort of identify yourself with being a part of this person. And now you have to identify yourself with being a part of you. You do really like to be in love, Taurus. So I still feel like there's a part of you that will never feel completely whole if you are alone. There's just, there's, you're ruled by Venus. You don't want to be alone, just like Libra. Doesn't really want to be alone. They like being in relationships. You thrive in relationships and you work very hard to make them work long term. But it seems like, it seems like you may be losing yourself in a relationship with somebody else or you may be very dependent upon being with somebody else like there's this connection between you and somebody else that's making it very challenging for you to establish who you are as an entity in and of yourself it's like the relationship has become something that means too much for you you're trying to find your own sense of self your own tribe you're trying to so this is a conflict of self that's what this is this week this week you're trying to find you you're trying to discover you and you're trying to get up the courage to be you you out loud and not be, be you unapologetically without having to worry about too much about hurting people's feelings. I feel like if you're walking on egg, eggshells, it's because you care about people and you don't want to offend them. But there is a sense of you feel like you're losing yourself or you've noticed recently that you, you identify too much of yourself with your connection to somebody else and you're trying to find yourself outside of this connection to that somebody else. It doesn't mean, now some of you may be breaking up. This may be a new, like a regeneration, a new phase in your life. Somehow you're moving forward, like a big change has happened, a transformation, and you are coming back into yourself. Maybe you've just gotten divorced, Taurus, or just split up from a long-term relationship, which can be very hard for you. And that's what I'm saying. It's like almost like coming out of a chrysalis and coming back to life and something happening. In other words, a big change in your life because 
for so long you were happily apart and warm and cozy and cuddly like a cat by the fireplace happy with somebody else but now you're looking to a future that is really you and being very cat-like in you not needing other people as much or you not wanting to need other people as much or you are you have been single and you're changing partners you're you are found somebody new or a new relationship is starting either way there is a huge transitional like transformation happening Happening in you this is a, a time in your life when um, you're going to you're going to be challenged to, to be exactly who you are and find yourself and find your your happiness to find happiness being alone is what I'm saying and that's a big change for you but this is the energy that's crowning your reading um, and I will definitely turn the camera around so that you can see all the cards okay so these two cards came out see the big picture and clear out the clutter so you've been holding on to things from the past and I think these things in the past gave you a lot of comfort. It's almost like they were childhood whimsy, childhood fan fancy. Um, they were being taken care of and, and having that warm, fuzzy feeling. And now, once again, this is a, tr a complete transformation. Both butterfly and frog are transformation cards. Frog is Cancerian, having to let go of the past or it's going to sink you down, having to let go of everything that you were in the past and let yourself be something completely new. And then this is a very Scorpionic card coming out of the dark, transforming, getting a new life after, because really it's almost like the death of the caterpillar when it goes into the chrysalis, but then it emerges a butterfly, so it has to die to become something more beautiful. And no, I'm not saying that anything is dying in your life, Though I feel like you may be channeling the energy of an old loved one, of somebody that has that has passed, channeling their energy or feeling their support and their presence and their love around you recently because they want you to feel good about yourself. They want to connect with you, support you, and, and let you know that you're never alone even when you are alone because you have your ancestors and you have your history with you and you're connected to the chain of life that is your family line. And so you can take some solace in that. There, it's like a solid family line. That's what I feel coming almost like in, in Hebrew cultures, how they under they know they always keep track of the family, especially through the mother's line. Um, yeah, it, it, you, you, you're never alone. You never walk alone. And I think that that energy, that positive energy that's coming around and protecting you, maybe of a past, uh, a loved one that's passed, is just reminding you of that. It, don't be afraid. There's no need to be afraid because we are here for you. Look at details you may not have looked at. See things, see you, see things from very high up in a perspective that you haven't taken. Look at the whole picture of life. This is your energy. This is very earth energy, grounded energy energy grounded energy in that you're not necessarily looking into the future but you're looking into the distance you're seeing a little bit of ahead of yourself you're being able to um, sort of open your eyes be very patient be very calm be very gentle be very passive be very understanding maybe with somebody else who's having a hard time letting go or having a hard time in general this is you being that sort of that gentle voice of reason, or maybe you're the one being the support system, Taurus. But I definitely feel that this is a huge transition for you. It's almost like you're growing up, growing tall. You're, you're, go, you're moving up the ladder, in other words. Um, you sort of have you sort of have the ability to, yeah, look down on other not look down on other people. But um get a get a perspective into windows that other people may not have access to let's put it that way but there's a, just an elegant beauty about you Taurus and it is hard not to admire you there's just a sense of you have to accept that you're changed now that there is no turning back like frog has to let go of this little thing that he's holding on to he has to just clear out he has to like frog has to clear out his lily pad and make sure that everything is clean and pristine and new like he is. He's not a tadpole anymore. He's emerged from the water and that has to be something that kind of comforts him. And I don't see that actually comforting you this week. I see that you are running into, um, yeah, you're running into conflict with, yeah, time to let go is here again. It's the central, it's the central energy coming through for you. There's something that you're letting go of and I believe it's your home. I honestly feel like there's a change, a change in where you've been and where you are now. I also feel like this could be um, um, sort of like, um, 
Yeah, I feel like this could be a divorce or dealing with the passing of a loved one. Uh, time to let go. In other words, you don't really have a choice. It's ended. But at the same time, emotionally, you need this still so much in your life. Your heart is still so dependent upon um, holding on to that emotional connection. This is a groundhog. So a groundhog rules the underworld. He rules dreams. He rules emotions and, and what, what lies beneath the surface. And we are in Scorpio season and we are all beneath the surface. So I think I think you've been holding on to something in your life or a lifestyle that has made you feel very, very comfortable. I think that you were holding on to something because it was familiar to you and you did not want to change. And I think it's very, very important to you at this point to realize you're too big to be in the same position that you were even a year ago. You're too big. You've grown out of it. You won't fit in the same situations anymore. You don't fit in the same situations anymore. This is a transformative week where you spring up from the seedling and grow into a full tree. And it's it's like you can't you can't turn back. This is a natural process in life that's supposed to be happening to you. But this is your challenge this week is that you don't feel like anything you say is being understood or be, um, being appreciated. You feel like anytime you open your, voice, your mouth, the wrong thing comes out and people misinterpret what you have to say. Um, you feel like what you have to say doesn't even sound good to your own ears. You're losing confidence in who you are because you just feel so awkward and like everything is wrong. But I feel like this week you have to sing louder, even if you're singing off key. I think that it is very, very important to find yourself again this week. Um, love is all around you. Uh, it's not that, um, and, but this is upside down. So I feel like, in other words, you feel disconnected from who you are and from where you belong. In other words, you have lost a love. Whatever the loss of that loved one was from, you have lost a loved one or ha you have been separated from loved ones and there's a huge sense of mourning and missing where you used to be. But that's why the cards are saying, Taurus, it's time for you to let go of that. It's it's a need. It, you. you You've grown out of it. They've grown out of you. You have to allow yourself to separate and grow in opposite directions. Mercury is in retrograde. And when this is watch your words, it's almost like, but he's upside down. So it's not even just like watch your words. It's like, yeah, what you say is being misinterpreted. And you've sort of just decided not to say anything at all. But that's not the right way to go. Um, if you're, listen, yeah, say you, you need, you need to not be afraid to speak up and, and feel like people won't accept you. But I think that that's the feeling is that you think that people are not going to accept you and they don't understand you. Listen, you may be around the wrong people. You may be in the wrong place. That doesn't mean you're not meant to be on your own. Taurus, you might have to find another job. You might have to find another partnership. You might have to find, you have to move. But there is a tribe out there for you somewhere. There is love. Love is inside of you, not necessarily all around you. Like I said, it's almost like that heritage, that lineage. He lives in you. I keep hearing that from the Lion King. He lives in you. He lives in you. You can hear his voice, hear their voice deep inside of you. And you don't have to be afraid of ever being alone. Even when you feel like you don't fit in, there's a reminder that you are loved by somebody who absolutely will always love you, even though you've had to separate from them. Or this love is over if it's a divorce, but that doesn't compromise who you are. You're still lovable. There is there has been a major change in your life. There really there really has. I think there's just a tremendous there's, there's a tremendous change that's happening in your life. Can I have two more cards for Taurus, please? I want a little bit more clarity on this change that happened in their life. Two more cards. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Two more cards. You see clearly now, Owl Spirit. So you could be dealing with a an Aquarius. Um, and then, uh, Scarab Beetle magic works through you, but it's upside down. And when, when, um, when Scarab Beetle is upside down, it's almost like the magic is stuck in you or magic is happening to you, like flying to you. It's almost like you have spotted what you want. It's almost like you spotted your next meal, Taurus, or somebody has spotted you or you have how can I say this? It's like, you know what you want, but you don't know how to get there. You've spotted it, but you don't know how to go get it. Um, and I think that that's, that's 
but yeah, but how does this pertain? Give me a second. Um, in some ways, in an extreme sense, somebody could be working spell, spell work on you and you finally realized it. It's like somebody's using their words and their songs and their chants against you. Spell work might have been done on you. So I would, if that is extreme and if you have that feeling, in other words, somebody is saying nasty things about you and you're finally realizing it. So it might not even just be spell work. It's somebody saying nasty things about you, maybe spreading rumors or, you know, just just um, in, intentionally talking about you probably behind your back, but you now know who it's coming from. And you now have, I, in other words, you've identified the problem. You've outed that person. It's like magic working on you. Somebody's saying something against you or something to you. And now, you know, and now you see, or it's actual spell work that's been done. Maybe somebody trying to cast spells against you. If you have that feeling and you run in that set, then I would go to a friend or, or somebody that could help you um, sort of cleanse that energy and block any negative juju. Because I think that you know what's going on now. Like something, a situation that had stuck around for a long time, a situation that had, um, that had hurt you for a long time, had been the center of your um, feeling maybe even depressed or worried a center of your anxiety that you had held on to for a long time. You understand that it's almost like you demystified the person that was involved in it and you've been able to let go. You just like you, you, you see it from a higher perspective. You see in the dark. Now you see what was subverted or what was being said badly about you. Somebody talking poorly, somebody speaking against you, or you feeling you feeling this negative energy around you, you know where it's coming from now. I feel like this week you'll get that clarity and you'll get that insight that you need. Let me flip the cards around. Hold on. Taurus, I know I said flip the cards around. I meant flip the camera around. <laughs> That's what I meant. So I asked for clarity on what this change was. And it came up with these two cards. The owl spirit, you can see clearly now, and um, magic works through you, but it's in reverse. So I feel like what you have to let go of is this pain and this anxiety that's blocking up your power. And if it was, yeah, it's almost like you've forgotten what your voice is and you've forgotten how valuable it is for you to be heard because you've been surrounded by people who may be talking badly about you or making you feel foolish every time you speak. You've been surrounded by people who are trying to silence you for some reason. But you understand now why they're trying to do it. And it's almost like you have the stronger energy. This is Aquarian card. So Aquarian sees the larger picture. Aquarian is the, the mind expanding energy of understanding the world and the universe and our connection to it. And uh, they have very creative minds. They love thinking outside of the box. And I feel like you are finally realizing, uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, you're finally pinpointing exactly what was making you feel so miserable and what you, uh, like what or who was setting you up for this sort of was, was saying bad things about you or making you feel bad or making you not fit in. And it's almost like you're taking the higher perspective or you're learning. See, these are two cards of taking the higher perspective and, and looking at things from from an aerial perspective and removing, in other words, removing your sense of self from the, the challenge and just seeing what's going on in general. And that will offer a lot of clarity as to why this mess is happening, why people are talking badly or spreading rumors or talking shit, or even in extreme cases, casting spells against you, uh, or, or just basically putting blocks against you. Um, so it, see, owl eats, it will, it would eat the beetle. You know what I'm saying? And that's like, it's almost like, this higher perspective is going to heal this illness. It's going to eat it up. It's going to make it non-existent. In other words, it's going this higher, you, you see clearly now getting that information is going to heal this blocked up, pent up feeling of worry and anxiety and maybe even uselessness uh, or um, yeah, questioning your ability. If this is blocked up talent, this is this is, this is blocked up energy or magic that is stopped up and not able to come out or fly. Um, it's like a, a scarab beetle 
it's like, I don't know, a dung beetle stuck in, stuck in dung, you know? I mean, this is <sighs> seeing somebody's true face, though. Because you actually see, like, this, see the face on the scarab beetle. Scarab beetle's back. It's almost like a dragon of some sort. It's beautiful, but... Hmm. It's this better perspective that's actually helping to heal or cure all that confusion. There was something about this confusion that stopped you up, that stopped you from being your full self or living up to your full self. Maybe it's actually that you have to move or you have to change your situation, change your job or change your circumstance. And you've accepted that now. And something that had to do with coming back to your heart space Surrounding yourself with people who love you where you feel safe is allowing you to let go and accept that you have to strike out on your own and find some place where you fit in better. There is definitely a call to end a certain situation or leave at, or ha ha having had to walk away from um, not an abusive situation. Yeah, a situation where you were not appreciated, where you were going to almost... A situation where you were where people were trying to undermine you if you will I want to know exactly what's going on I need to know what this what this scarab beetle in reverse is there's a lot of clarifications that I want to do on these two reversal cards because they're very very important and what you actually are letting go of or needing to let go of so Taurus join me over on Vimeo for your full tarot card spread and also your romance reading I'll see you over there